Hey YouTube Brando here. We're gonna do a uh, review on this here flashlight I received the other day in the mail. I've uh, had the opportunity to use it over the last few days and ran some tests with it. Uh, I actually videotaped those tests. Now you can get this flashlight on uh, either YouTube or Amazon. I've looked at them, looked at them both, and they range from about four dollars on to about eight dollars so you can definitely pick it up for under five bucks if you uh, do a little bit of shopping on it, do a little bit of research there's what the box looks like, it's a uh, no batteries, no bulb, hand pressing flashlight it is made in China so you know it's not going to be you know the best quality <clears throat> and actually it's it's it cracked while it was in my pocket on the head so already uh, durability is not the best I can say that compared to the hand crank flashlight it lasts a lot longer and it's a lot easier to charge uh, now the first test I ran was a 15 minute test on it and uh, I've got a clip of that it's time lapse so it's about a 5 to 7 second video that we're going to show and uh, I actually I put a stopwatch in the background and that's why I only ran it for 15 minutes it was on my phone so I kept having to touch the screen to get the uh, stopwatch to come back up so let's cut to that video and then we'll be back Okay, so you can see in 15 minutes there was really no change at all. It lasted uh, 15 minutes and it was as bright as when I started. Now, uh, I charged it by, actually I discharged it or killed the battery that's in here, whatever it is, the you know power source. I killed it by leaving the flashlight on for about an hour and a half and it finally died out and it wasn't fully charged. So I turned it off. I squeezed this trigger uh, 75 times. My hand crank flashlight, you have to do 220 times. Uh, so I figured 75 would suffice with this. And I did it. And you seen there was no change in 15 minutes, really. Um, the lumens was about the same. The light never really diminished. Now, this next clip I did, again, I discharged the battery, turned it off squeezed it 75 times and this is what we came up with over a two hour process so I didn't have the stopwatch on this one because uh, I wasn't going to stand there for two hours pressing it every time but it was a two hour uh, it was like an hour and 58 minutes by the time I stopped the video and again it's time lapse so it's probably about a 30 second clip and we'll be back So you can see even in a two hour scenario this thing was still lit pretty bright. Uh, after about 30 minutes the light did diminish a little bit and it kind of stayed the same for about the next hour and a half. Uh, so I would say this, this flashlight with 75 squeezes would last you 30 minutes of strong light and about you know at least an hour and a half of decent light. And you know, uh, it wasn't even near dead when I pulled it and stopped the video. Like I said, it, I let it go for two hours and then stopped it. And all I did was squeeze it a couple times, and it was as bright as when I started, and it lasted another ten minutes of uh, that, you know, that much uh, being that bright. And I just squeezed it a few times. It's I didn't sit there and charge it all the way. I just hit it a couple of times and it got brighter and it stayed bright. So it's very easy to charge. Uh, 
we'll definitely do an update video on durability I'm gonna say it's not gonna be great uh, like I said it's already cracked right there and the head came off so it, it, durability is not going to be the best on these. It is China made. But we're going to put some electrical tape on it and we're going to keep using it. It was a gift from a friend on YouTube. So I'm going to keep using it. I'm going to put it in my EDC and uh, carry it in that bag so I can put my Dynamo hand crank in my uh, main pack. There you have it. We'll do an update on it after we get a little bit more use out of it. Like I said, I've only been using it for a couple days now and we'll get that update video as soon as uh as soon as i get finished running this thing through the ringer and, and see what it'll actually hold up or not thanks for watching youtube